Hello friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about some features and some terminologies about the antigen antibody interactions. Now before understanding about the individual antibody anti antigen interactions, we must know about the basics of antigen and antibody first and obviously some important concepts. So here we will be talking about antigen antibody interactions. Now what we need to know before understanding this is simply what is antibody. So let me tell you, antibody Remember, if you, whenever we talk about antibody, we simply get the structure in our mind. It's simply the structure of Y-shaped. We all know that this is the structure of an antibody. And if we think about the antigen, and we know the antigen can be of different size. It can be simply protein. It can be glycoprotein, gly uh, glycolipid, and all these things can be antigen. So these antigens are protein or protein conjugate. lipid and so on okay these things can be antigen now the antigen can be a sim single molecule or it can be any conjugate molecules or conjugate whenever I told you that protein conjugate there can be other type of large molecules like called haptin so they can be attached or small molecules like haptin they can be attached with antigen so this is the two things that we are going to talk about and for the antibody, we must know two different regions for antibody. One is the FAB regions. So this is called A and B. This is to the FAB and this is called the FC portion. F sub C and this is F sub AB portions of antibody. Now the interaction between antibody and antigen occurs between the FAB region. Because FAB is the attachment region of antigen with this section. Okay. And FC region is simply the region for the recognition of the target okay that means if you get uh, remember in case of complement system we have studied that if this is a red blood cell there is a receptor on the surface of this where fc can bind where this fc where this antibody can bind with its fc receptor region right so it binds with this fc but antigen on the other hand is attached say this is an antigen this is another antigen so antigen 1 here it is antigen 2 so they are attached with FAB portions right so this is the type of interaction that we are going to look okay now before going into this detail we must know some nomenclature and those terms are first of all the term is uh, we need to look the distinction between an affinity of and anti antigen antibody affinity now affinity for an antibody is affinity means simply uh, the number of antigens that are going to interact with this antibody okay so simply if you're talking about one antibody its affinity means it is interact interacting with this antigen and the affinity of interacting with this antigen what is the affinity of interacting with this antigen for that antibody so this particular regions are also called uh, anti uh, antigen attachment sites okay so if there is two different sites they can attach with two different antigens this is also called the valency of an antibody okay so second is the valency of an antibody now valency of an antibody if we're talking about this simple y-shaped antibody just like this so we are having two uh, regions uh, for the attachment of antibody antigen so you call the valency here it is four right so the valency is four that means it can attach with four different uh, so it can attach with four different antigens for example okay so the affinity for this uh, antibody is only four antigens so it's, it's simply the single antibody antigen interaction okay now if we get the uh, structure of antibody simply like this which are multivalent in nature suppose we are having something like this what we can say it's a bivalent right because what we get two different antibodies together and now four for each so the valency here what we get is four plus four equals to eight right this thing can happen in this guy is this kind of case but most of the case when we are talking about affinity we're simply talking about the interaction of a single 
antibody with the antigen say this is one antigen this is another antigen it's a single interaction of this antibody with the antigen so single individual interaction it's a simple single individual interaction between between antigen and antibody okay that's it now the third thing that we want to know is called the avidity now what do we mean by the avidity of an antigen antibody reaction it's simply now if we put now let's try to focus on this concept if we are putting such five antibodies in a mixture and 20 antigens in a mixture in those case the avidity of that antigen antibody reaction would be the total affinity of all the of all attachment of the antigen with the antibody so we have put this five antigens uh, antibodies along with say 10 antigens in this case the avidity means all of the affinity that will be there between five antibodies and 10 antigens all together so together so affinity which we get together from this whole mixture of five antibodies and ten antigens will be calling it an av avidity but remember this is a type of concept most of the people think about that this is the summation of all affinity but sum of all affinity is not the answer this is not the truth this is not the answer I'm telling you if we just sum this up it's not getting the answer the avidity means the interaction of all these antibodies with the antigens depending upon their valency also so so this simply no, does not only depends upon the valency of antibodies it cannot depends upon the valency of only one antibody because there are five antibodies if they are having different valencies they will vary so you need to calculate to keep this in mind that each of these antibodies may have different valencies so after all all this kind of attachment so all this antibody with the attachment of the antigen that are interacting inside a vial will be count together for the avidity of that interaction okay so, okay so this is avidity another part so if i if i think about the avidity let's consider in this way let me draw a picture it can give you a clear understanding so let's say here is uh, an antigen this one is an antigen and let me draw here it is antibody which is catching only one now let's say here is another one with two antigens now our antibody is holding both of them together so now the affinity here say 10 to the power 4 here is the affinity say 10 to the power 6 now the total avidity so these are the affinity This both these things are the affinities, right? Now, if we uh, if we try to make the avidity by providing all these things together inside the mixture, so what will be the answer? Here we have this. So now, if we do this, if we simply add these things together, and we tell that this is the avidity, will be wrong, because this won't be the avidity. The avidity will be something different. We can't just add them up just like that. So, so sorry. So the avidity will be this. So that doesn't mean that we just simply add these things up. Simply adding these things up won't give us this. Okay. Okay. And especially another important thing about the affinity is that now if we think antigen and antibody, say this is. This is say the antibody along with say this is the antigen and what it provides us is simply antibody antigen complex right this is the kind of complex that we can get now if we just write it equals antigen antibody give up the antigen antibody complex which is the product right now if we look for the equation constant right so if we look for the equation constant so it's a constant k for this equation equals to it would be antibody antigen in a complex divided by the concentration so the concentration of antigen antibody complex divided by the concentration of antibody into the concentration of antigen 
so this thing which is called simply the equ equation constant if you have the basic understanding of equations and you know the equation constant is simply so the pr product concentration simply product concentration divided by substrate concentration right this is the equation constant so here the product concentration divided by the substrate concentration so you get this value and this value i am telling you is called the affinity of the reaction this is called the affinity of the reaction but the affinity is different as i have told you the attachment or or simply uh, the addition won't give the result it's about we need to take all those things together so these are the avidity and affinity now another thing another important thing i must tell you is about uh, let me write it here it is about specificity now what we mean by specificity specificity means that one antibody a type of antibody is destined to attach with a particular type of antigen only that means the antibody is specific or the region of the antibody is very very specific to be attached with a particular type of antigen okay so that means this particular section is only recognize a particular type of antigen they will only recognize those antigen and bind with that antigen so they are very very specific the very important a concept about the antigen antibody reaction is that they are very very specific and we utilize this specificity for very very uh, for many techniques actually immuno techniques okay specificity is a fact and another thing is which is responsible for this kind of antigen antibody reaction is the form of form of antibody antigen complex or simply form of uh, antigen we can say form of antigen only because if our antigen is a particulate antigen so antigen can be of two type antigen can be a soluble antigen can be a particular so if the antigen of our interest which we need to uh, slow down and which you need to attach with our antibody if the antigen is of particle type then what will happen utilizing antibody will simply grab those antigens from different regions and what it can do it can it can simply agglutinate the particle now what do we mean by agglutination remember this number name agglutination now what do we mean by agglutination it means simply we are having our particulate antigen so suppose this is the antigen having the different epitopes and what we are having we are having antibodies attached from different directions so they will make a complex and simply they will precipitate down not precipitate they will call they will just uh, shot down because they are particulate in nature so they cannot be precipitated precipitation can only be achieved just don't try to forget this precipitated can precipitation can only be achieved if we are talking about the soluble type of protein or soluble type of antigen now if it is a particle we cannot make a precipitation we can only make what is called agglutination so if it is a particle we can do agglutination but if it is a soluble protein then what we can make a precipitation because precipitation means it's a soluble kind of uh, just just going down to the bottom but agglutination means they are particulate they are just arranging themselves in clusters right so that's the thing for the particle type agglutination for the soluble type we have a precipitation so these things important these things are important to understand the antigen antibody reactions and uh, why we at all understanding this antigen antibody reactions because this reactions we can use this antigen antibody features like the affinity avidity specificity and this kind of uh, complexes like precipitation and agglutination to to achieve very very important uh, techniques that we can utilize in the field of medicine in the field of diagnosis uh, to get different kind of uh, results right so that's why it's important we must be careful about all these things we should know about all these things to get uh, uh, started about how we can use or apply this kind of uh, antigen antibody interactions for our purpose okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you